Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th. We know that the timing is fluid, at least most of us do. Uh, let's get started. What do we have for a message today? something about love because of before I started shuffling before I turned the camera on I saw the page of cups and I thought hmm page of cups showing feelings love struck somebody may be love struck you know and now I just see the knight of cups so let's step it up a notch you know somebody may be wanting to step it up a notch they're love struck you know they're searching for love they're looking for love they may be chatting it up getting ready to chat it up you know getting ready to message you know express their feelings flirt there's flirting that is coming um acting on their feelings okay uh somebody is going to be acting on their feelings following their heart which is great because that is what this time is about it's about following your heart and i do feel as though somebody is going to follow their heart uh, there even there could be a proposal, an invite, an offer, um, or just an initiation, you know. Um, hmm. Ah, sun reverse. Now that's not good. Sun reverse is sadness, uh, unrealistic, suffocating. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. This is uh, loneliness due to disillusionment. You know, I wanted to start this reading off with fantasy. But I stopped myself. I don't engage in fantasy. And maybe that's what this time is about. It's about reality. Step outside of your fantasies for a minute. Or for an hour or for the whole day. Really question your beliefs. Question what you're holding on to. Is it real? Is it really? Is it real? Or are you holding on to hope of what you think somebody is? Is it just a fantasy? Is it your fantasy? Are you living out your fantasy? Or is it real? And, and what made me do that is I approved my comments. I was approving a comment and somebody wrote some stupid fantasy comment and I had to block them. It's like, wake up. Wake up. Are you even being realistic? This is loneliness due to disillusionment. This is not seeing clearly. Lack of clarity. Unrealistic. Somebody's being unrealistic. They're being unrealistic about a relationship, about their happiness. This is false impressions. Now, here we go. Ace of Wands. That's an exciting new spark. Sudden desire. Hence the word new. With a capital N. So, this is a new sudden desire to live. To be happy. This is a new vision. Oh yeah, this is all about bringing balance to your life and getting real. You get in front of a judge. You go into court. You might as well leave your fantasies at the door. Because it's going to get real. It's about the truth. It's about the facts. Your fantasies ain't going to hold up in court. So this is getting to the truth, accepting the truth, seeing the truth, 
after being in some sort of illusionary mindset. This is poor logic. Seriously. It really is. So, we're going to we're going to get to the truth, okay? And it it may be painful. The truth is going to come out and it isn't probably going to be pretty. You think about it. You picture yourself in court. You know, you're the defendant, you're the plaintiff, whatever, and the shit is flying. This is where we're at. truth the whole truth this is the truth the truth is you have an exciting opportunity waiting for you to grab onto it but you gotta wake up anyhow balance integrity honesty justice consequences Punishment, karma, you better be honest with yourself. It's time to be truthful. About your relationship. Ten of Cups reverse. Now the Ten of Cups, this is an unhappy relationship. This is relationship problems. This is a dying dream. This is somebody holding on to a fantasy relationship. Seriously. This, there may be some sort of, uh, well, separation here. Something about children leaving as well. Something about children. Um, for some of you. Uh, there could be a loss of a child. I just, and it doesn't have to be a death, okay? But children could get taken away by a court or, you know, they may be choosing, you know, to leave. They may be choosing another parent to live with. I don't know what is going on, but this is justice. It's karma, okay? Whatever is happening, a fair and just decision will be had, okay? It will turn out the way it should because it's in the upright. This does have to do with a relationship. It has to do with a family situation. There's an, it, it is a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. It's time for uh, a new adventure. But we have somebody here that is not being realistic. They're not. They're not being realistic. They're living in fantasy land. Okay. And that's why that wanted to come out so bad. This is somebody that is, is sick. Okay. This is somebody that can't see clearly. Uh, cloudy vision, confused. There's an element of confusion here. But they're going to see. They're going to see because this is a new vision and this is the truth. Okay, so here comes some sort of karma, truth, uh, consequences, whatever it is that is going to make somebody see. Okay, so this is like your Pluto energy, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this Ten of Cups reversed is... You know, I wonder if somebody is leaving home, moving out, moving out of the home, or there's there's something happening in the family. There could be a change in the family. Um, this isn't happily ever after, put it that way. It's not, and that's the truth, okay? It could be fake, okay? This is, I'm telling you what, this is fake, fake happiness. I can't make it up. You might be able to, but. I can't. Fake happiness. Fake happiness. I can't. Some people are so skilled at doing it. Well, universe, karma, whatever sees. You can't. No pretending here. Alright, so somebody been faking it. Ooh, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a big one. Big, 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 big fight. All right, this is admitting defeat. There's going to be it's going to be a battle, okay? Um, so now there's this is a poor judgment being judged or something like that. Somebody's making a poor judgment call of some sort. Uh, somebody may also feel like they're being attacked. 
maybe you're feeling you're being attacked right now because I'm calling you out. Some people are being triggered at this very moment. Somebody may become under attack, okay, and they may be feeling like they're being defeated, you know, because they're they've been under attack. They've been trying to they've been trying to prove something. They've been trying to prove that they're happy. They've been trying to prevent something from crashing down, pretending that things would get better. But things are not getting better. And now they're walking on eggshells. I think we have somebody here that is about to step down. They're about to admit their defeat. They're getting worn down. They're overwhelmed. They don't want to do this anymore. Somebody's about to give up. They're about to give up their false impressions. They're about to give up this fake relationship. They're about to go after something more exciting, more fertile, right? Somebody's about to give up because they have a new vision, right? Now this is about doing the right thing. Okay, justice is about doing the right thing. And making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Being honest and upfront about feelings. So somebody is about to communicate their feelings. They're about to communicate the truth. After being delusioned or something like that. Delusional. I knew we had a poor judgment call here. I was I was, I was positive. <laughs> I knew it. Judgment reverse. Somebody ha definitely false impressions. We have somebody here that hasn't been telling the truth about a partnership, about a contract that they have been in. <sighs> false contract. Not even, you know, uh, <laughs> this is a false fucking contract. So, anyway, yeah, so, hmm. this is a poor judgment call. This is being found guilty. This is guilty. It's guilty of, uh, making some sort of bad choice, not listening, not answering the higher call, lack of awareness, refusing to wake up. Somebody has been refusing to wake up. They've been holding on to a false contract because it was such a fantasy. It felt so good. And they were sold the fantasy and they bought it. Oh my God. This is a false contract. Hoping for a reconciliation with a false contract. Unfucking believable Anyhow, I'm sorry, but, uh, she's some girl. Mm. This is a separation. This is a separation. It is. This is a separation. It is a is a detachment. It's a disconnection from a con. We have a contract here. We do have a contract. Somebody made a poor judgment call and got themselves involved with somebody based on false pretenses, maybe just for sexual reason, reasons, or it looked really good, or whatever the case was. And now, it feels like they're going to be stepping down. There's somebody is stepping down. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of opposition. It's been an extremely challenging situation. But they may have been sold so far into the fantasy, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to let go of the fantasy when you've told everybody about the fantasy. So anyhow, um, this is justice, something, a de final decision. Somebody is making a decision to separate. They are, they are making a decision to separate, to break a contract. There's no compatibility here. There's not. There's no happiness, there's no growth, and there is another opportunity for happiness. I feel, I mean, the judgment reverse, that's a poor judgment call. Moving on from that bad choice, uh, maybe somebody, somebody could even be feeling ashamed, feeling ashamed of the choices that they made. They are going to be judged. There is some sort of judgment here, definitely, being judged for the choices that they have made. And there's karma because we have double karma here, justice and judgment, right? There is definite karma here for a poor choice. Somebody has made a very poor choice to get involved with a false contract and think that that false contract was, uh, you know, going to last or something like that. 
um, a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, and there's going to be another fight. That this is the fight that ends it. It is the fight that ends the relationship. No chance in revival. No chance. No chance in getting back together. That it's final. The final decision is made. This may, may, may be, you know. Well, it's definitely a positive change. It's a positive that comes after a negative situation. Okay, this is very negative, but it changes to positive as soon as somebody gets honest and is honest with, with, you know, their truth. Somebody hasn't been honest. But anyhow, um, I do see a new vision and a definite separation from a false contract. Um, you know, the lover's card reversed is... Uh, acting out of self-love okay we have a broken relationship here broken relationship bro broken relationship broken relationship it's a relationship that wasn't meant to be um that is separating okay um this is almost like somebody sees the light. They just see the light. It's just they do. It's like they see the light that this isn't what they want. You know, I, I don't want I don't want to fight for this anymore. I don't want to fight anymore, period. I don't I don't want to play this game. I don't want to pretend. You know, that's the kind of energy I'm feeling. And I feel like what they have is they have another opportunity. It's like they're love struck because I saw that page of cups and that knight of cups. It's like they have this other opportunity that they want to go forward with, that they feel a connection with. Um but they can't because they're in this false contract now. Now this is uh, not answering the higher call. Judgment reversed. This is uh, uh, lying. Somebody not telling the truth. Not waking up, you know. death oh my fucking god so this is the end of a situation or it is this is the death of a person or idea okay so this is something that is ending it's the end of a situation it's the end of a relationship that wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be and, and i think there was just so much opposition anyway in the relationship there wasn't a lot of growth. There wasn't a lot of happiness. There was just a lot of uh, competition. It's like the whole relationship was a big old competition, you know, very hectic, a lot of fighting, a lot of challenges. The whole relationship, there was just so many challenges to be overcome, but somebody just tried to, you know, they just thought, you know, I just don't want to be alone, so I'm going to, I'm going to try to make this work, when it just, there was no chance in it working from the very beginning, and I feel like this person knew there was no chance in it make working from the very beginning, but they did it anyway, because they, they didn't want to be alone, anyhow, this is the end, this is the end of a, a part, it is, it's the end of a partnership, Okay, it's the end of a relationship. Somebody is very sick as well. And they may, be, they may just be sick of fighting. Sick fighting, okay? Or they may be sick and ill. And this is illness as well. Somebody may be very ill. They may be getting sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker, you know, uh, because they're not honoring. They're not honoring the truth, okay? When, you, when you're not honest with yourself, it, stress kills, okay? When you're not honoring your, yourself, you get depressed, okay? You get sick. All those things, I mean, you do things that you wouldn't, when you're not happy, you do things, you, 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 you self-medicate. You self-medicate with food, you self-medicate with pills, drugs, alcohol, whatever, and that stuff kills you. So we have somebody here that is getting ill, they're getting sick. They're getting sicker and sicker and sicker because they haven't been honoring their truth. Anyhow. Um, but we do have a new opportunity here with that Ace of Wands. We have a new opportunity in the bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a golden opportunity. This is a gift. Somebody is being given a golden opportunity right now. Okay, this is something. This is a chance 
for something long term, for something stable, something that can grow. This is a gift from God. God is giving somebody an opportunity for stability and security and uh, I'm just listening to outside. We've been hearing things all day. The power. This is a reality check. This is a reality check. That's what this is. The Ace of Pentacles is a reality check. This is something real. They're giving somebody an opportunity for something real right now. There it is. That's what I was listening for. I heard it. I heard it earlier. So I was I was expecting it. But you've done it like ten times today. Which is interesting. Anyhow, um, we have we had do have a separation from a false contract. The decision is going to be final. It's going to be made. There's no reason. This is no life. This is no life. There's no reason to stay here. This is this is draining. It's draining. There's been too much fighting. There's no connection at all. There's no connection here. There's no love connection here. It's over. Okay, the relationship is over. It's over. So I feel like the decision, there's going to be communication, you know, that is had that says, it says this isn't this isn't real, you know, this isn't what I want. This isn't meant to be. You know, I think it's going to be a very challenging conversation. A very challenging conversation is going to be had. Somebody has been in a very unrealistic situation where uh, they've been suffocating. They've been suffocating by another person. You know, it's been suffocating them. But now, now they're ready. Because this is ready. They're ready to go. That's ready. They're ready to go. They got this vision that it is time to go. And I do feel like they are going to make the right decision. Somebody is about to make the right decision and they're going to take a golden opportunity that before it slips away. It's like they see the opportunity and everybody wants it. I mean, everybody can see that that's a beautiful opportunity. You better take it while it's there. You don't take it. Somebody else is going to. Somebody may have been praying as well. They may have been praying for help, you know, praying for an answer, praying for a breakthrough, praying for freedom, pray, and their prayers are going to be answered. If you, if somebody has been, you know, at, in night, at, at night, laying in bed, praying, dreaming, dreaming about somebody else, you know, that's manifestation. And this is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. They have manifested a new connection. They have in, in their dreams and in their thoughts. Your thoughts become things. So I feel like at night when somebody's in bed, they're really, really thinking and dreaming and, and praying or whatever, talking to whoever's listening, you know, you know, putting their thoughts out there or and it's manifested. There is a golden opportunity here for happiness. But I do feel it's going to require uh communicating the truth to whoever this false relationship is and I think it isn't going to be pretty I think there's going to be a fight and I think somebody I think there's going to be a fight it's going to be a battle and I'm not sure if it has something to do with a child maybe a child uh somebody goes to live with a child I don't know where that's coming from um you know a son or daughter or something like that um Either way, there's an exciting new path ahead. All you gotta do, go down it. Good luck.